The best way to learn any new tool was practice. So we're going to practice using a file that you've probably already downloaded from D2L. If you haven't, download the bridge.zip file from D2L. This is an archive file, meaning it contains a whole bunch of other folders and files. Let's go ahead and... If you're unfamiliar with archive files, I'll show you how to extract it. If we right click on the object, if we right click on the zip file, you'll see that I have a couple of options. I have extract all, and then I also have 7-zip. This is another program you can download that's free that allows you to extract other files. Um, if I right click on the file, you'll see I have a couple of options for extraction. I have extract all, and then under 7-zip, I have a couple of other extraction options. If you don't have 7-zip, you can download it for free on the internet. Just in case, we'll use extract all. If I right click on the file, you'll see I have several options for extract. If I right click on the file, you'll see I have several options for extraction. We have extract all, and then we have 7-zip, which is another software that you can use to extract archive files. I'm just going to use extract all. By default, the path that it has listed here has created a new folder to put these files in. I don't really need that because the archive contains a folder already, so I'm going to go ahead and backspace up to the word desktop and hit extract. You'll see that it created a new folder for us at the bottom of the screen called bridge. If I open that bridge folder, you'll see it contains several other folders and files that are all already named. If I open the bridge file, uh, if I open the bridge folder by double clicking on it, you'll see it contains several other folders and files that are already named and organized. We'll look at some of these here in just a few minutes. What you need to know is that this is Maya's default project structure. So every project you use in Maya from here on out will have a similar structure. Let's minimize this for now and go back to Maya. Inside of Maya, Maya will refer to a lot of exterior, no. Maya, uh, Maya will require several external files and, no. In the process of creating a project inside of Maya, you're going to have to utilize several external files and save multiple different types of files in different locations. So Maya needs to know where to find all of those files. That's why we have the Maya project folder structure. What we need to do before we get started, and this is very important, is we need to set our project. If we don't do this, Maya is just going to save the files wherever it thinks is appropriate and you may not be able to find them later. So first things first, let's set our project. We'll go to File, Set Project, and we'll find our bridge folder. If I select the bridge folder and hit Set, now our project is set to that bridge folder. What that means is that Maya now knows where to go look for all of the files that we're going to need. If I go to File and Open Scene, you'll see that Maya automatically goes to the Scenes folder of our bridge project. And if I were to open up our desktop and open up our bridge folder, you'll see there's our Scenes folder and there's the bridge deconstructed file we're currently looking at. So let's select that and hit open. Don't save. This is trying to save the empty scene that we already had open. 
And what you'll see is we have several objects inside of this scene that we can use to build something. Think of these are as think of these as tinker toys or Legos. So what are we going to build? The name may give the secret away. If I minimize this, you'll see under bridge we have example.mp4. If I open that up, you'll see a video of a bridge tumbling in space. Your assignment is to your assignment is to manipulate all of these objects into place in order to recreate that bridge that you saw in the video. You've learned how to move, you've learned how to rotate, you've even learned that if you need to rotate this a very specific amount, you can type that into the channel box. Using all of those tools and the navigation tools you learned in the previous videos, reconstruct this bridge. When you're done, go to File, Save Scene As, and in the same Scenes folder, save this as Bridge Reconstructed with your name at the beginning. Greg Marlowe dash bridge reconstructed. Save as. And you'll see now under my scenes file I have Greg Marlowe bridge reconstruct. Greg Marlowe. And you'll see now under my scenes file I have Greg Marlowe bridge reconstructed.